It could be life or death. Does seconds count. Does your kid know what to do during an emergency? The American Heart Association now saying kids as young as four can call 911 and by 10 to 12, they can perform CPR. So in Florida, school districts are only required to teach CPR to students in grades 9 and 11 and all new at 6 tonight. I find out what parents can do to get results and help bridge that gap. Nine. Nope. Too many nines. Nine. One, one. All right. This may be a puppet, but what these children are doing is far from playing. They are learning a life-saving skill. Now, do you call 911 if you're just bored at home? No. Okay. The Children's Safety Village in Orlando offers a class for children to learn how and when to call 911. How often do you get calls from kids this age? Every single day. And what do you typically hear on the other end? Or do they typically know what to do? Or They don't know what to do, but they follow directions very well. Renee Cheek has been a dispatcher for more than a decade. Right now, she is the assistant supervisor for Orange County Fire Rescue's dispatch department. Her advice, walk your kids through the steps of dialing 911 and the critical information they should give. Make sure that they know their addresses and their phone number and that they can speak to them and allow clear voice and answer our questions and follow the directions. Cheek says kids should learn at any age because you never know what could happen. Have you ever had to call 911? Yes. I was um, eight at the time during a house fire. I had to help my parents and be a big brother and help my brothers. While you're waiting for help to arrive, some kids in our community are getting certified in CPR, ready to get results in an emergency. We're going to perform CPR, get that person some help. Lake Mary Police and Fire team up every summer. Two fingers for the infant. For a babysitting CPR class. Your hands need to be more in the middle of the chest. We have kids that are attending this class all the way from South Orlando. And then we have kids that are attending this class from Volusia County. If their eyes aren't opening, are you going to look at their work of breathing? Is their chest rising and falling? Are they breathing? In this sold out class, there are children as young as 11 getting certified in CPR. What's going to be hard for the children is they're, feel, they're going to feel like that they've, they're hurting the person that they're performing CPR on. You're going to push down and you're going to allow the chest to retract. And then that's going to circulate the blood. When they take this class, the uh, mannequins that are utilized um, in doing CPR, they actually will tell the children if they're pushing down hard enough or not hard enough. You might be wondering if your child is even strong enough to perform CPR. According to the American Heart Association, correct hand positioning and compression rates can be delivered by children as young as 10. When an adrenaline starts going, you'd be surprised what what 11 year old could do strength wise. We just want them to know to at least try. You guys are awesome. Because at the end of the day, it's a matter of life or death. This saves lives. This really does save lives. This seems like a why not situation mm -hmm. for sure. If parents are interested, where can they sign their kids up? Well, there are a lot of options. Lake Mary Police and Fire are offering another babysitting CPR class later this month. It is free. It is open to any middle or high school student in Central Florida. And I put the link to sign up inside this story on clickorlando.com. It was fun to go out there and meet so many uh, great little kids in our community doing a lot of great things. One little girl, Rebecca Green, who I met, watches News 6 all the time. That's my girl, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. I Smart like girl. it.